What's up, Beach Body Champions? We are so excited to be here today. Um, but because I'm so short and to be a little bit more as high, I'm gonna okay. use a step stool. Come on, get on my level. <laughs> if you don't know me, I'm Kelsey Shackley, and this is Dean Shackley. Dean. How's everybody doing today? Um, and one of my favorite parts about what we do as coaches is the fact that we are from all over the United States, the UK, and Canada. So could you comment below where you're from? I just think it's so cool that we can connect with people from all over. So just comment below and let us know where you're from and where you're tuning in from. So um, a little backstory about me. Um, I am a mom to three girls. I have my oldest is four, Ruby, and then I have identical twin girls who are 18 months old. I mean, obviously he does too because we're married. <laughs> um, we are married. Um, but I worked as an RN at a local children's hospital and was able to leave that job and do this, which is my love, my passion, um, full time now. So, and a little bit about you, sir. Um, I, I am a twin dad, a, a dad to three girls. Um, you know, they are our girls. So yeah. uh, I get to rock that as well from the dad perspective. Um, it's an awesome gift. It's an awesome honor. Um, like her, I worked in corporate America before and I was in the construction field as a project manager. Um, now we do Beachbody full time together and we really feel that this is our passion and our calling and love every minute of it. Yeah, so our challenge groups used to suck. Like does anybody else on the other end of it just feel like you can't get engagement, people commit and then you're like, uh, where, where did, did you go? go? Um, and so we have really found a system that works that keeps us excited and us engaged and we are really really excited to share that with you today we actually have four things that we really feel help keep the momentum and the engagement up so and specifically we're going to talk lift four we were in the original coach test group um, and so we have walked through that and we're excited to be able to help you do that with your groups so typically I don't have a program set challenge group. Usually I let people pick a program that speaks to them and let them do that while we're all on our own journey. But um, specifically with Lift 4, our boot camp right now is full on Lift 4 for the most part. So we're gonna take you again through four things that you can do to actually help your engagement in your own challenge group. So the first thing is the pre-work, like the pre-launch thing that we that we done. And, and we really encourage from the get-go to invite your spouse because we have felt that pushing each other through that workout was such... Yeah, I don't know about you guys, yeah. but one of my favorite things about this program, Lift 4, is this, I mean, not not any knock on any other program, but this isn't like Brazilian butt lift. So for me, I feel confident coming in that, yeah, I can throw around some dumbbells too. And why not, like, why not do one of these girly workouts with her? And it really kicks my, kicks my backside. So in the pre-launch that we've done, this is our opportunity to really invite spouses and it really invite the dudes on board with this because I don't know about the other dudes watching, but holy smokes, like I've, I've never got these kind of results and never got this kind of burn in the gym, honestly. Yeah, so we set up our Facebook group. We do host our challenge groups in a Facebook group and we set that up and we actually um, have it turned on to where only he and I can post. Um, everyone else just comments below our post. So we do that, um, we set that up that way, and then we actually, in the pinned post, have a link for our virtual Zoom workouts. So we really encourage our tribe of people to work out together and in the mornings if they can. Um, it just brings that sense of community and engagement that way. So that is our pin post of the group. And then we had we have a unit set up in there. That's like the before you live for kind of thing um, where we have a commitment contract that we made everybody fill out. I really believe strongly and power between pen and paper like with everything you do like write it down if that's a goal of yours write it down like always write everything down so when somebody commits to me and they say i'm doing lift four write it down write your signature on that piece of paper because you're committing to this program and i tell them right off the gate get go treat getting results with this program like you're gonna be the star of a movie like 
you're going to be the leading role and you have to look X, Y, and Z. And so people, when you go into it with that mindset, you're like, okay, I am getting paid to get results with this program. You're going to think more about what you're putting in your mouth. You're gonna think twice before skipping a workout. You're just more committed when you have that mindset. So I really try to teach um, everyone coming into the group to have that mindset. So we have them fill out a commitment contract. We also have them write down their goals and why they decided to, to join. We have them take before pictures and measurements, and we set that expectation up from the front that they're gonna be taking progress photos every single Sunday, again, because when you're taking progress photos every week, you think twice before having multiple cheats. You think twice before not or skipping a workout or not getting all four workouts in that week. And so we really feel that that extra layer of accountability is huge for engagement. Yeah, and another thing that I I get in there and I tell them is, guys, you just some of you spent one hundred and seventy dollars for this challenge pack. Some of you spent four hundred plus for this challenge pack. Yeah. Don't just let it sit on the shelf and collect dust. Like, yeah. sign this contract as if you were Mark Wahlberg and you just got a movie role and you've got to pack on twenty pounds of muscle because you're going to be right next to The Rock, yeah. doing doing your movie. Like, you've got a contract. You've promised yourself, you've spent the money. Some of some people, you know, they feel guilty about spending the hundred and seventy dollars because they may, you know, just could have bought back to school stuff for their kids. So we make that we remind them, hey guys, you, you spent this money. money. Like don't don't just waste it. Yeah. Use it. Utilize Use it. it. Get the results that you came in looking for. So um, we do that and then we all have, we have a kickoff call. So we jump on a Zoom call, we go over expectations, we talk about the community aspect, we, we talk about what we expect of them, but what then they can expect of us. And so that leads us into point number two, which is our posts and our live videos. So we keep it simple because that's our personality is we like to keep it simple, fun. Um, and so we actually use the challenge group guides that Beachbody gives us. So we, if you don't know how to go get find those, you go to your coach online office, you click on grow my business, you then click on challenge group tools, and then challenge group guides, and then you can click on the four. We take what they give us, what corporate gives us, including videos from Joel. You guys, if you're not using these, you need to use these. This stuff is so good. There's no point in recreating the wheel yeah. because the time you would spend writing all this stuff, you guys could add, be adding your personal touch. Right? And said, let corporate take care. I mean, they, they, they go through in those, if you haven't read them yet, they talk about energize, they talk about creatine, they talk about the benefits of the uh, of all recover, of the supplements. everything. Yeah. Let them do the hard research and use what someone else has already done, all the homework they have done, and let's piggyback off of that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so um, they even have like a multi-group guide that you can mm -hmm. use. So if you're using La Four, but other people are in there, use that stuff, you guys. So we take those posts and I copy them into the notes section of my phone and then I tweak it to sound like me or I add a personal touch, I add a tip, I add something that's worked for us, something that we've struggled with and have overcome. And we use that to sound like us because what I found is if you just use the, the program guide, Usually what people have been attracted to you on social media, and if you come in and it's totally scripted, it doesn't feel like you. And so then they're like, well, this isn't the Kelsey that I knew on social media. So that's why I feel like it is important to tweak it a little bit, sound like you, add your personal touch, because then they're gonna feel like they're getting to know you, but on a deeper level. And so... Um, that, and that's one thing that we've struggled with in the past was, you know, like, we, we get in there, we, we were ourselves, and we get people in, and then it, like, turned into script mode, and like, yeah, we just, like, if it's boring to you, it's probably boring to them too, right? Like, they're getting tired of it. So. Yeah, so let's give them some of the examples of, like, our tips that we, that make, gives us our personal touch. So, um, so you. yeah, you know, one of mine is, you know, my goal with this is to really get a lot of spouses on and uh, husbands, and uh, I've done that. We've got a lot of husbands. So, I, I give it from the husband's perspective. So, one of my favorite tips to give them is... <laughs> when you're working out at your home gym <laughs> doing this, the best place to stand for us guys is in the back of the classroom. 
especially on leg day, right? So stand in the back of the classroom, guys, and get your view. Get the best seat. Get there early, though. Get there early and get set up. So we throw in our humor. He gives his his uh, husband tips yep. here. And then um, I'll, I'll also throw in tips like how I make my coffee because I used to be like a creamer addict. And so how I make my coffee still taste good, still sweet. Um, we make her parent like go-go juice, which is Energize and LaCroix. If you haven't done that yet, you need to because it's amazing. Cheers. Um, we usually just, like I do like a half a scoop of um, Energize with, um, some sort of LaCroix, whatever is your jam is awesome. You can mix and match and make it taste really good. But sometimes as a parent, it gets you through that afternoon struggle, especially when your kids are cranky, they're whiny, they're teething, and you're just like, I want to eat everything in the pantry. You, your moms know what you, you feel me. Um, that's when you need your, your mommy go-go juice. So. Yeah. I mean, we've got three small kids, so go-go juice yeah. is where it's at. We well, need that. Um, um, and you know, um, so we give tips like that. What were you gonna I say? forgot what I was yeah, going to okay. say. Go ahead. Um, okay. Flavor God, we talk about like our Flavor God seasoning and how we like to put that on our vegetables make, to make them taste better. We talk, we always share, like this week we shared a midweek motivational video and we shared yep. like a video that we felt like really spoke to us. So we'll share that in there. Um, we try, and, and our goal with that is to really try to sneak in kind of the personal development. Like our whole goal with this is to teaching them these. and teaching them how to be a coach yeah. and they're already doing the things that coaches do personal development giving them tips on food nutrition things like that and uh you know we'll touch on more stuff but of course like i just want you guys to keep that in mind as we're going along we're giving them personal development and they're yeah. feeling good and they're getting confidence and yeah oh i remember what i was gonna say okay so back to the back of the classroom thing the great thing for guys about this is you can stare all you want you won't get in trouble at the gym with your wife. So there, there's only other one other gym member, typically, unless the kids wake up, then, then you can just, you know, not. So, you can just not. Uh, but guy, guys love that. It gives, it gives a personal touch, you know, and you don't have to be, you don't have to be dumb like me and say stuff like that. You can be whatever you think is fun or funny, whatnot. Just, just the whole point is just to be, be yourself. yourself. Yeah. Because most likely the people that joined your challenge group like you because of you. Yeah. Not because of some script. Right. Because you sure. have the perfect script. No, yeah. They like you because you screw up, you're funny, maybe you're a smart aleck, whatever. Yeah, for sure. So. And so we, like I told you earlier, we turn off all the notifications in our group. So only I, him, him and I can post. And we do the one post a day via challenge group guide with our personal twist. And then we have a daily check-in. So the check-in is, did you get your workout in? What time did you drink your supplements? Um, and then rate your day on a scale from one to 10, 10 being like a rock star day. And then, um, we call it like, so we'll, we'll use the script, the wording uh, from the challenge group guide, but then we typically try to like make our own picture that we're posting with it. So it might be a picture of him and I doing something funny. And then we actually call it like a journal. Our journal entry is our check-in. And so we'll say like day one, um, July 20th, which isn't day one, but I'm just using this as an example. And then so like day one, July 20th journal. And so I'll actually, we'll post an idea so you can see kind of what we're doing with that. But again, it just personalizes it. Um, so we do that. And yeah, like to, for example, Today was leg day, right? So we did legs, my legs were toast. My picture to post to our group was just me pulling up my I leg like my I legs. was trying to stop traffic with these bad boys. Stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I was trying to get a ride. Like, oh my gosh, did anybody else about die with the leg day today? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, just adding your personal touch, your humor, whatever that may be. Yeah. So we do that with our posts and then our goal is to go live in our boot camps three times a week. So some examples of what we went live over this week was I have diastasis recti, kind of healing that. So I went over how you test for it, you know, from my personal experience. Again, I always say I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physical therapist, but this is what I've learned. Um, and here are some modifications that I have made. And so I went over that, talked to them about that. I talked to them about meal prep. We went live during our meal prep to yep. talk about what types of things we prep over. We talked about, so 
we will talk about, we haven't gone live on this yet, but every Saturday is our question party. So we do a question party where everybody comments below what questions they have, where they're struggling, things like that. And then we'll go live and answer a lot of those questions. And then on the days that we do our cheat meals, our cheat meal is usually re revolves around an adult beverage. So we will share whatever adult beverage we mm -hmm. are making live. Skinny margarita. Skinny margarita, yeah. you know, um, vodka waters, add, how to add flavor to that, um, yeah. whatever it may be, like a, a fun drink around the house that we like to, to use. And because Joel encourages taking a treat day, right? Or a treat meal. So our, for us, it's to have an adult beverage and just, just hang out. And, and just, and talking about and encouraging what you can do on your rest days. For example, you went on a bike ride this Wednesday and just talking about how, you know, this is supposed to fit into your life and really encouraging that within our in our test group yeah oh Sunday so we talked about Saturday with the question party and then on Sundays we will always be sharing a success story Sunday so a success story of somebody that has gotten really great results with LaFour um, and then having them post below their their progress photos so we really want to encourage again we're really working on transitioning them from either you know customers discount coaches to coaching and so doing that with giving them tasks that a coach would do right so that's what our goal is with that so that was point number three I just saw someone uh, say I would love to know what recipes you use for healthy drinks or healthier drinks skinny drinks whatever it may be I didn't see the whole question but guys I, I want to just tell you that when we first started doing this we didn't know like how to make a drink that was skinny. So we Googled it or watched a YouTube video and we totally got on there and just winged it the first time. Or we would try it out and go, do we like this? Okay, we like this, let's share this with Or that friends. sucked, don't do that guys. And people love it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. they wanna see the real you, right? So just be the real you, even if you get on there and screw it up, so what? That sucked, don't do that. I added too much grenadine, whatever it may be, <laughs> right? So yeah. don't, just don't, my advice would be don't overcomplicate it. Get on there and screw up if you have to. That's totally just cool. Just take action and do it. They'll be like, whoa, they're a real person too. Like yeah. they have no idea what they're doing. It's not scripted, I love that. Yes, yes. So just wanted to touch on that. And we do use Facebook. We do. This is all on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And we try to keep our live videos, I would say, around five minutes. I feel like if you get them too long, sometimes people won't go back and watch them. But if you keep them short and get right to the point and tell them what you need to tell them, use your own personality and get off, then you're, it's cool. Well, that and plus you get in a hurry when you want my, your mixed drink. You're like, hurry, come on, come on, come hurry, on, I'm, I'm ready for my drink. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, and then our um, last big tip, I guess we have two more, um, is weekly social media challenges. So for yes. example, this last week, I was like, okay, I have kind of crept back into my old ways, hitting the snooze button. So we did a challenge within our test group, within our boot camp. Does anybody else struggle with hitting the snooze button? Like, I'm going to commit, this is a new program, I'm not gonna let myself down, day one, Monday, I'm tired, I wanna go to sleep. Snooze. So right. does everybody else. It's okay. You're not the only one. Yeah. So s insert hashtag snooze challenge. So this is what we did um, on Instagram, actually. We took it from our test group and made it on social media as well. So I invited my Instagram following as well to join us on this. But we all use the hashtag snooze you lose. And we all put the timestamp on there. And we just all went after it. And they had to tag me in it. And then based off the end of the week, who all did that consistently gets a prize. And so you can think of things that you're struggling with and go, how can I make this a challenge and how can I make this more fun? So you're doing, I think, two things when you take it to social media. You're engaging, you're engaging your test group, you're engaging your boot camp, your challengers, but you're also giving FOMO to the people who aren't in it, right? Mm -hmm, They're mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, what did I say no to? Yeah. This looks like a lot of fun. This looks like fun. I'm not alone in this, right? And so that's what you're doing when you do that. So that's what we did week one. Um, some ideas that I have for like the following weeks is maybe like a gratitude challenge. Again, they'll have to tag me, find something that they're grateful for, um, a gratitude quote, something like that. Again, we're training them to be coaches because now they're posting on social media. 
gratitude challenge, maybe posting a workout clip on their Instagram stories, again, tagging me. Um, maybe we're gonna continue to do like a midweek motivational video. So doing that and then sharing their takeaways in an Instagram story, like verbalizing, hey, I, I watched this video, it was about this. This Insert is what it means. Personal development. This is what it means to me. This is what spoke to me. Um, and sharing that with everyone. And then maybe doing some sort of photo a day. This may be not on social media, but encouraging them to take different types of before slash progress photos. Yes. So maybe a swimsuit photo with their kids. It might be, um, it might be like a, a photo with their dog. Um, it might be, you know, just like out and about throughout the day, like just getting different types of photos, maybe a photo of them in pants that they have been dying to get back into. Yeah, and where do, are you with those pants? Right, I mean, I, is the button this far away or is it this far away? How are we get? oh, the button made contact. We can almost woo! loop it in. You know, like just making those progress photos because they may not post them today, but now they have them for when the end of the mm -hmm. program comes, they're and gonna- And then they're proud because people are not proud in the beginning and they're scared to take po before posts. And then they say, I wish I would have taken before photos because I kicked tail at that and now I have nothing to show what it looked like before. Now you do and you didn't even have to share it until now. Yeah. So encouraging that like coach style behavior but without calling it that. It just keeps everybody engaged. It keeps everybody feeling like they're a part of something. I think community is so huge, keeping them engaged um, by doing things like that. So the other thing that I am going to be doing is sending out a Sunday morning um, email. So recapping all of my tips that I've given them throughout the week, like my coffee tip, how I make my coffee, our afternoon go-go juice, like these different things that I'm doing that I can share with them um, in an email so that they have that to keep as a reference point for later. Again, it's just adding value and continuing that contact with them. Is it bad that it's not even afternoon and I'm drinking a go-go juice? It's okay, right? It's fine. All right, cool. It's fine. Cool. But, so those are... But guys, the, the thing here is like, if you struggle with something, share that. Like, make them feel that they're not alone. Yeah. Because people think that they're by themselves. Like, I'm the only one that's got 10 pounds to lose. I'm the only fat boy on the challenge group. No. Come on, we'll be fat boys together. Let's go. <laughs> like, you struggle with getting up? Me too. And I'm going to I'm gonna call myself out there and heck, let's make a challenge about it. And if you guys want to see more details about that, just follow her on Instagram and watch the stories. That's, how, that's where she does it because she goes, she goes public with it and she encourages them to go public with it too. And it gets over that fear of going public with posts that most people have. Because you're not have. alone. Again, it's that community knowing, okay, I'm tagging Kelsey, but so is everybody else in the group. So you're doing it together as a tribe. And I just think that there's so much to be said about wrapping your arms around your people and saying, let's march and tag attack this together. So um, thanks so much for having us. If you have any questions, please comment below. I can share some of the photo ideas that we've been doing in our, in our boot camp in the comment section of this video. But real quickly, just to recap, we talked about our pre-work that before we started what we do, um, post and going Facebook live, our weekly challenges that we're having, example, social media with the snooze you lose challenge, and our weekly emails that we are sending to everybody in our group. So you guys are amazing. Kel What's Kelsey Shackley. Kelsey Shackley. S-H-A-C-K-L-E-Y. Yeah, same as the name on this live video. Yeah, <laughs> good point. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a great Friday and enjoy your weekend. Thanks for having us. If you guys have questions, put them below. We'll, uh, we'll get them answered.